Right, we're here with Jerome, and uh, you've got an amazing magazine, and it's been out for a few about months. a year now. Is it a year? Yeah, that's wow. the third issue, and we're working on the fourth issue already. Wow. Well, uh, what's going on with EV Builder's Guide? Tell us a little bit more about it. Well, the EV Builder's Guide is all about covering everything EV uh, converted, uh, modified EVs around the world. So the magazine is based in America, distributed throughout the US and Canada, yeah. but obviously we cover everything happening around the globe. So we have stories in Australia, obviously here in the UK we're producing content. So I just really wanted to cover everything EV or EV converted and uh, modified EVs. No, it's great and you know I've had the first two copies and it looks like I might be getting the third one as well. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, winner, <laughs> winner. And um, it's not just the magazine because you've uh, you've got an online presence as well. Can you tell yeah, us how to find that? No. Obviously, we have the website, and more and more, we'll be dropping more content online, yeah. which will match the content uh, on the on the magazine, but mm. also exclusive content. Uh, when we cover shows, for instance, or we do very interesting vehicle, we have. Uh, uh, before the rest of the competition. Not that there is competition for the EV Builders Guide, but obviously other media. Um, the funny thing also is, is there's so much interest in modified EVs, obviously EVs in general, but yeah. modified EVs and uh, converted to EV classics. Yeah. Well, that's that's... Subscribe. Oh, there's a mini in there. Yeah. Oh, it, it just fell open at that page. <laughs> How did that happen, Chris? Chris is uh, filming, by the way. Good, good man. Thank you. But yeah, no, thanks, Jerome. And it's, yeah, it's a great publication. And anyone that's into modified EVs or um, you know, uh, EV conversions. Don't just look at Charge Heads UK, look at EV Builders Guide. And also you can download the, the latest issue online, uh, have it on your tablet, on your computer, and uh, go on the website, evbuildersguide.com. I mean, what I love about it is the fact that, you know, we probably have too much screen time, so it's probably quite nice to have something physical yeah. rather than just being, you know, on your phone all the time. Good for mental health, I reckon. <laughs> it is. I reckon yeah. so, it's right. Sorry? Put in my bathroom. It's a good shout, actually. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Jerome. Right, and uh, no doubt we'll see each other later. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Cheers. Right, well, you know I can beep as well? Look at that. Hello. Someone's videoing me. I'm very photogenic, honestly. But, but we have to talk about licensing rights if you're going to republish this. <laughs> Later. Coming to get me. He's coming to get I'm coming to get you. Thankfully, Tom didn't actually catch up with me and I was able to get to the Aura stand where there was an unveiling of the Aura Lightning Cat. Somewhat very similar to shape to um, a very popular Porsche Taycan or Panamera. I think that's what they were going for. Um, a very interesting curvature, this particular vehicle. But look at the back, oh my god, what have they done? That little black bit at the bottom does come up as a spoiler. But 3 seconds 0 to 60 and 280 to about 400 miles range is not bad. So, pretty good. The interior, wow. That got my attention. And the quality, very much what you'd expect from the Aura brand so far. But if you've seen the Johnny Smith recent video of the Aura Funky Cat on test, you'll know that the uh, intelligent software isn't that intelligent. But it looks like a beetle that someone's put their foot on, is, is my first impression. Now this is a very different looking car. I mean, check out this Nissan Aria. Cut up to show what goes to make an EV where the batteries are stored. Under the, st under the stairs? No, under the, <laughs> under the seats and uh, charging port there with the HV cables and also in there with the, the motor stack. And what was powering that? It was a Nissan Leaf, of course, with some vehicle to load. And it was an off-road version. Can't wait for vehicle to load in the TVR. And talking about exciting cars, here's another one, the McMurty. It's an EV that even gets die-hard petrol heads hearts pumping. And this thing is an absolute weapon. If people have seen the video, uh, Goodwood Fest was speed up the hill um, but yeah absolutely unbelievable from the McMurty chaps and beautiful carbon weave and this was modified so I thought I'd get involved in this ID Buzz camper conversion the price was 79 I know the quality looked really good look at the curtain looks rather smart doesn't it um, but yeah I mean there was someone in it so I can get too detailed inside but they seem to think 
the 220 mile realistic range with the weight of the camber conversion uh, it's certainly uh, a nice conversion like i said but hmm range as i'm probably sure you'll understand after watching my recent video and if you haven't watched it go back and watch it great car but range hmm it is a brick so what do you expect and it's a vw it's not a korean chinese or tesla car talking to chinese autel charger dc with a video while you're charging that's brand new and guess what me at vital ev we're selling it to businesses and among a load of other new chargers which are very exciting so if businesses want to get involved i've got a business that wants a dc charger movable or static give me a shout this i couldn't not take any fit pictures and videos of these things electric quad bikes i mean if you've been on a quad bike and had some fun imagine the fun you can have on an electric one 10 grand for the uh, that one just seen and this one was 15 grand so there's going to be differences in power battery etc but farms and fun let's have some and uh check this out gonna plug in cable in just pushing through a handful at a time oh sorry and we're there plug me in Turbo charge. How about that if you haven't got a driveway? A thousand pound fitted. Pretty good if you ask me. This was the question answer, answer session at the end of the show. Thank you so much, everyone from Fully Charged that made the event what it is. Amazing. But look at this. This is Car Porn Central. This EV concept race car from Nissan. What an absolute beaut. And, uh, look at these police cars talk about modified the guys that i spoke to there was a superintendent i had a good old chat with trying to sell charges of course and he was so knowledgeable i was absolutely amazed and something that i learned was the payload on police evs is very important and that's why the ev6 is actually the best for the job not the tesla because it can't do the payload but i must admit the flashing lights on the stand was annoying me hi max and elijah good to see them from artisan thanks for the jump chaps and back to the ev conversions so unfortunately i didn't get to see barnaby or get to try, try out the tesla powered range rover but here's a bit of detail with the camper van that's a hyper 9 motor in there from electric car converts um, hopefully Barnaby I'll get to catch up with you and uh, get to know a little bit more about what you're doing with your EV conversions but as Chris Hazel from Zero EV oh, Felton I mean said that it's all about nice swift conversions using things like their Felton battery pack 52 kilowatt hours popping it in getting those conversions done swiftly I think he said something like four to eight weeks which I think with two years on the wedgie build, where am I going wrong? Where am I going wrong? But yes, I'll catch up with you soon. Um, and look at this rather nice Tesla Model 3 motor, just to rub it in, because that's what I wanted on the TVR. Anyway, enough about that. Let's move on to what we're really, really excited for on this particular video. No, it's not Jack's Fiat 500, although it's an amazing conversion and he does do some top builds on these cars but it's this it's the 240z you know what? take it away hello right it, it's the end of the day yes and we're here with jack hi jack tim how are you how you doing yeah i'm good mate and you've brought the one and only 240z ev conversion tell me all about it tell me the spec tell me the trials and tribulations and tell me what's happening with it so i think last time we met uh it was at the, at the nec it was. and it had no doors or a windscreen. So we have doors, we have windscreens. Um, we also have a driving car now, which is quite quite something. So uh, yeah, we haven't done many miles on it, but it's 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 fast. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's quite, quite a beast. Excellent. So specs wise, it's got a 600 volt battery pack, um, 36 kilowatt hours. It's got a CCS rapid charging, um, it's running a, a GS450H hybrid motor setup. What's the uh, kilowatt power of the motor? The motor, we haven't actually tested it at 600 volts. 
but uh, at about 300 volts, it's putting about 220 kilowatts. Wow! But I think I think okay. we might be. I think at max RPM, we might be pushing more. Now it feels like a lot of power. That sounds like a match for the TVR that's never going to oh, be completed. I definitely have you. There's no, oh. doubt. There's no doubt. Sounds like a bet. Sounds like a bet. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, the car is it's unfinished, um, but I'm pushing and pushing to get it done um, and put it's putting more miles on it. Yeah. 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 And uh, so it's just it's just basically finishing off uh, finishing off the rest of the work and then uh, go and play. Have you got any uh, potential? Uh, what, do you want to get it out on track? Is it about a bit of court mile run against the TVR? So, I, I think my yeah. I think my next step is so corner waiting will be the next step corner waiting getting all the preload set up all the suspension sorted out properly um because we've we've adjusted the weight distribution in this so we've got more or less 50 50 weight distribution now and then i've got the massive task of the interior which um which yeah. i made a very slow start on you, you you did copy me on the brown seats just uh, just want to say no, that that's not fair um <laughs> yeah so we're going to have a tesla style uh ipad is going to sit up in this is just a temporary screen, but we're going to have a big screen here, and then we're going to make our own cast custom analog CAN bus gauges. I've not seen the actual uh, the flop dash yet. This looks yeah. very sexy. Yeah, it's um it's still a very unfinished. We've got a forward and reverse switch which we which we developed with a magnet, real positive, um, feel. and then uh, I might have to uh, get involved in some of that. That looks a lot. I love in the yeah. action. It's nice, isn't it? Better aluminium. And on and our next step, we're going to have drive mode. So we're going to have Eco Sport and Drift Mode. So Drift Mode selects low gear within the uh, gearbox. So we're not just having a quarter mile off, we're having a drift off as well? Yeah, I've got a Drift Mode, which is going to be insane. I can't wait. It's all about the driver with Drift, Jack, so if yeah. you need me to help you with that. But we can't drift yet because we've still got an open differential. Um, Boo! Yeah, I know, I know. So that's another job, it is an LSD, uh, which is quite essential, because right now if you floor it, you just got to get this one wheel one wheel pill. Yeah, it's not, no one likes a one wheel pill. No one likes a one wheel pill. Um, Chris, yeah. uh, Chris from Felton EV said, uh, when you put in the RB26 in it, okay. do you like to comment? I hurt my feelings. I mean, he's an electric guy after all. I, I mean, if, if you were to say to put a five litre V8 in the, in the wedge, I'd probably give him a slap. <laughs> yeah, quite right. A Tesla motor slap. Yeah. Where is he? He's not around, is he? You can bitch back and he can't hear, it's fine. Yeah, good job he's not bigger than me. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's no, great. Uh, anything else happening with Silent Classics in terms of uh, <laughs> any extra product range? Anything that you, exciting that you're doing at the moment? Yeah, so we've got some weird and wonderful cars on the go. Um, we're always doing weird and wacky stuff. Um, but we're trying to focus on Fiat 500s. Yeah. Sure. We've got the nicest kit out there and uh, we're really trying to push that at the moment. We are doing plenty of vintage uh, conversions and plenty of interesting projects. But we're trying to focus on Fiat's. Um, and uh, so, yeah, be there. Yeah. Now I bumped into Moggy yesterday, and I was saying about you guys out here, and he said, "Oh yeah, uh, Jack, the F uh, Fit 500 man." So yeah. getting a bit of a reputation. That's, good. That's nice to hear. Especially, for, I mean, that guy's amazing. He's converted so many cars. I don't know how he how he does it. He's a machine. Yeah. Absolutely, and uh, I think we need to get you back in Bedford again because that is, uh, you know, that's Italian Central there. They, they love it. Yeah, yeah, they loved it up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Toasty. Toasty. good man. Yeah. Jack, thank you very much. Yeah. I'll uh, yeah, no, see, see you, you uh, on the Court Mile strip. Yeah. You're dead. You're done. <laughs> right, um, that's pretty much it for the EV conversions. There is the uh, Citroen 2C ECVs over there as well. I have covered them quite a few times before, um, so it's probably, uh, probably, probably leave them for now until they bring out something a bit fresh. But I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much uh, to Jerome, who's done all the camera uh, camera action today from EV Builders Guide so make sure you buy plenty of copies of that uh, but thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time